so we're officially starting our 2023 season for goat grazing. We're in Stewartville, April 17th. Uh, primary target is buckthorn here. There's not a lot of buckthorn coming out yet. Um, leaves are just starting to pop. You can see some of these trees. Most of it's honeysuckle. I believe that's buckthorn there. Um, just starting to get leaves. It's okay to have the goats come in early. They'll chew the buds off them. Um, anytime you can disrupt them during the growing season, that'll drain some energy. So we're getting them in here right away. We'll buzz through probably about seven acres here. And then we'll just keep on going around, get the whole park eventually. But we just, we're just testing the waters today. We just brought 15 goats out. It's going to be cold and rainy. Um, we were thinking about waiting till this weekend or next week, but we want to get them off our pasture, spread them out a little bit. So we brought them, a we're going to leave them the trailer for shelter. It's supposed to be down in the 40s with rain. Um, last week it was in the 80s. So big changes in weather this time of year, but getting a jump on the season. That should check your fence. We already did this, but we have a digital fence tester. It tells the voltage here. So 7.7 kilovolts KV. So that's plenty to keep the goats in. Anything above three, I think it's 3,000 volts or 3.3 kilovolts will keep the goats safe, keep the goats in and the dogs and coyotes out. 